pet parents out there, it's me, Dr. Q, the one and only life coach for people with pets, here with the next installment on making quarantine with animals and stay in place awesome. So for us, it's been a very exciting time because yesterday we got our newest rescue, a thoroughbred racehorse named Emblaze. Um, if you're subscribed to my YouTube channel, you would have gotten some notifications about um, her very first moments uh, with us. Um, what we did not share with you is the medical care that we did with her last night. After letting her have the day to sort of settle in, we needed to go ahead and make sure that we took care of some important medical things for her vaccinated her, uh, dewormed her, um, she had some ticks that we had to get off of her. So we may upload some videos later on that show you some of that. Today was the first day that she met her new companions face to face. It was a little rocky in places, but that's how it goes. Um, what I wanted to emphasize tonight is that if during this time of quarantine, you've gotten a new animal yourself or you've thought about getting a new animal, um, there are some things that you definitely want to keep in mind. You want to make sure you get any records on that animal as far as what vaccines, deworming, are they microchipped? We actually microchipped in Blaze last night too. So microchips are very important. Um, Oh, there's no growling kitties. So we want to make sure that we have vaccine information, microchip deworming. Um, dogs and cats um, can often carry parasites that people, especially little children, can pick up. So we want to make sure that we're covering all our bases on that. Horses don't really do that, but dogs and cats certainly can. Um, making sure that you have a tag for them, collar, leash, registration, if that needs to be done. Um, find a groomer, perhaps. For us, we need to have a farrier. Uh, we need to let him know that we're adding another horse to the stable so that next time he comes, he'll have another horse that he has to do uh, her feet and take care of that. So you'll definitely want to check within, with your veterinarian and make sure you have a checklist of all the things that are important to have in place right when you get a new pet to make sure that we're not forgetting any of those important things to make sure you get off to a great start. So as we are nearing the end of quarantine, please don't get too excited to get out there and go shopping and all that crazy stuff. Please keep yourself safe and stay healthy. And thank you again for all of our donors and subscribers and for all the people who have commented and given us more information to talk about on these videos. And I'll keep doing them for you. I promise I will. And on that note, I'm Dr. Q here to help you have the most amazing relationship with animals that you ever thought possible. Please subscribe, donate to the Rescue Ranch, give us your comments and feedback. We really appreciate it. And mostly stay safe and healthy out there, everyone. Have a great night. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.